how to set up your Etiwit X500 inflatable touring kayak. Now I'll just get straight into it. You're probably watching this on your phone next to a walkway somewhere and you just want to get going. So I won't bother with any intro or any of that stuff. Uh, but I will say, I have also made another video about how to correctly pack away the boat. If anything, that's more important because if it's not done properly, it won't work. Uh, so be sure to check that out as well, bookmark it or whatever. Right, let's get straight into it. Start by checking you have everything you need for the day. You'll need a life jacket, a paddle, a pump. Now the X500 itself contains two foot pegs. They are both the same, not left and right or anything, as long as you have two of them. You'll need the seat. And last, but certainly not least, you're gonna need the boat. If any one of these items are missing, then forget it, you're not going paddling today. Unfold the boat. Don't lose that strap. You'll need that when you pack up, so put it somewhere safe. Something important to mention about the valves. There's a push button on them. Don't have them pushed in. You need them in the out position, like this, to inflate. If you forget which way round it's supposed to be, then there's a reminder printed inside the cockpit, as well as info about the order to inflate things and the correct pressure. Using the correct adapter, connect your pump to the valve. Twist to secure. You don't want it flopping out while you're pumping away. You inflate the floor first. Then the sides. You'll see your boat starting to take shape. Correct pressure for all chambers is 10 PSI. It's really important to replace the valve caps when inflated. There's a couple of chambers on the deck. Start with the one behind the seat. Even though these chambers are much smaller, the pressure is the same, 10 PSI. The fifth and final chamber is the foredeck. Go ahead and put the seat into position. It's very self-explanatory. There are notches either side of the seat that connect it to the boat, fixing it into position. I fold the rim over the backrest, securing it further, and it makes it easier to fix your spray skirt if you have one. Now the foot pegs. Again, they're pretty self-explanatory. They have notches that attach to this bit here inside the boat. Then you just slide them on. Pull the strap through once, but leave it loose for now. At this point, I get in the boat to adjust the foot pegs. I do this with both foot pegs in, of course, so they match. Push with your foot or pull with a strap to find a comfortable paddling position. It's personal and will depend on how tall you are or how long your legs are. Right, that feels good for me. I'm going to secure this position by passing the strap back through the buckle and pulling it tight. And that's it. Done. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. Check out my other videos for more kayaking, camping and outdoors stuff. If you're looking to buy this boat or any of the accessories you see in this video, I'll leave some affiliate links in the video description. Oh and subscribe.